take it to back, hips off, standing legs. Sharon Dykeshorn leads this fitness class Wednesday mornings at Dynamic Bodies in Georgetown. Having been able to open up to at least 50% capacity at the beginning of February has certainly brought a sense of normalcy back to this gym. But as the next phase of reopening on February 17th allows for no capacity limits, Dykeshorn says there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's just the best thing because I've missed everybody so much and working out together as a group, um, it just, it, it gets everybody energized, uh, people work harder, they have more fun and they're just more inclined to keep coming. So keeping the workouts fun but just being together as, as a group and as you can see the, the ladies have a great time, we just have a ton of fun and still focus on people's goals and uh, making sure they're doing things properly. Um, we need to have fun, but we don't want to get hurt at the same time. So for me, I'm just thrilled that we're able to be back and be together. Dynamic Bodies is a boutique studio with personal training and small group fitness classes. Owner Carrie Muscat has run this gym for the last 15 years, the business being a huge part of her livelihood. Muscat says she took a financial hit and had to pivot to keep things going. So what I did was I started doing online fitness classes, which we continue to do today. So we run Zoom fitness classes. I started a weight loss wellness program, um, something that I had been thinking about for a couple of years, but being home kind of gave me the opportunity to launch it, which I have and it's been fantastic. You know, you're, you, you're closed for almost two years and that's pretty much almost a two year well, it is a two year salary for everybody because I have several trainers that work for me too. So it hits them hard as well because they're no longer able to work. And although we're doing some Zoom classes, it's not the same. You're not doing the volume, right? So um, yeah, it was, it was tough. The pivoting helped me 100% able to continue to keep my doors open after two years, which I am so, so grateful for. We have so many loyal clients that have continued to come back to us. Clients like Linda Pidzemecki, who is relieved to be back in person. It's so much better to be in class because you get that camaraderie that you've heard throughout the hour that we've been here. Everybody cheering each other on. When we were on Zoom, we did all of that, but it's just not the same when you're in your own home sweating. It's nicer here to sweat <laughs> and have all the equipment. And everybody's so great. The teacher's great. The instructor, the owner, they're all great. They, you know, really motivate and telling us our butts look good. <laughs> With out-of-breath cheers from clients like Linda and encouraging shouts from instructors like Sharon, Dynamic Bodies is sounding more like a gym again. To get that energy back, that volume of clients being excited is everything. For Halton News in Georgetown, I'm Melissa Candelaria.